Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and this channel is everything about riding, fun, and petrol Herbert. And today, today it is also about uh, honest review about this Rudge Geek or Rugged Geek or whatever is the pronunciation of this intelligent boost or emergency jump starter and, and power bank basically RG. Uh, 1200 or 1200 whatever uh, basically I'm using this item for about two months and I'll tell you what is my personal experience with it uh, how I use it what are the good things and bad things uh, because I have this item on my shop so martintheblogger.com uh, slash shop the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts uh, I still have a couple of them so I'll show you what's inside uh, so we'll do typical unpackaging, but I would like to tell you one thing. This is an honest review and I haven't bought these items as a priority to sell it on my shop. I bought it because I was two times already in a trouble with my battery. So the last <laughs> and most important thing with, that we will do, it's a great test. Uh, yesterday I had this charge on the purpose, my bike, so I keep it like, like this uh, through the night. So it's completely out of the juice and for the very first time I will test it and we'll see if, if it helps me to kickstart my battery. So guys, enough of this, let's get started. So let's start with the unpackaging. First of all that you will notice is that the case is quite nice, beautiful logo. I mean these guys know how to do our marketing, even, even if, you, if you look at this, you know, uh, for all petrol heads, it's beautiful to have uh, a tire kind of signature or pattern um, on the power bank itself or jump starter, whatever. Uh, so what's inside? Uh, inside basically uh, manual, not important, but the most important thing is actually this. Now, when I first saw it, uh, I was quite, you know, like where the hell I'm gonna carry it on my bike but for all the spider riders I'll show you where I have hidden it uh, like I almost don't know that I have it on my bike it's still with me so I'll show you the trick uh, of course what I'm trying to say by all of this is that in case you are a motorbike rider uh, you will be probably not carrying this box even though it's nice quality but it's just simply way too big um, and you will try to get rid of it and you will be basically carrying over just a couple of things, you know. Uh, what it comes also with, it's uh, these two USB cables, quite nice again, and they are, what I like is it's a high quality USB cable, so also the, uh, the power uh, charging, it's possible with these cables, that's nice. In American version, you will get these adapter. In my versions, I'm not including them because it will just confuse people. So, uh, because I got the supplies from America, so I I'm not using this. And last not least, of course, you will get nice uh, item itself uh, covered in a nice, you know, box, whatever. So, this is about unpackaging. Okay, now uh, let me go through all of the things about um, this basically power bank or, or, or a Kickstarter itself. It's very important and hopefully I will not forget anything. So in general, uh, in case um, like how it is made, how it is built, and here's the first thing I was quite surprised. It's a little bit back. Uh, that was my kind of shocking thing from, from the beginning. Uh, you can fit, in, fit into one hand, but definitely it's, it's a little bit bigger than just, and this is Samsung S21 Plus, so you can kind of compare it. Uh, however, after, I don't know, like a couple of days, I got really used to it, so um, it's no more an issue. Uh, I like the pattern, as I said, um, and uh, the feeling of it, it's kind of, it's a plastic, but it's kind of rubberish plastic, so that's a, that's a nice thing, and of course, it's not super important because it's just a design, but those are the tiny things I like. Now, um, what is important? First of all, um, it is 1,200 amperes. Uh, the story is that, and I was told not to mention, long story short, so I'm not mentioning it. The story is that you can at least two times charge a phone like this, so Samsung S21 Plus, at least two times I can charge it. In order to charge this, uh, I did the test and I completely discharged it, which is not really good, but I did it. And uh, it took something like three and a half hours to completely charge it on a 
on uh, the faster charger. I'm using some some faster chargers. So uh, yeah, and you have the USB C for 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 charging basically. So it took three and a half hours. Now, um, what is the Alpha and Omega? It's basically this. Uh, you have the the pins or the connectors hidden right over here, and you need to to take or carry with you this part, which will help you, of course, kickstart your car or motorbike. Now, this is very important. I'm saying car or motorbike because this is so powerful that it can charge or, or it can kickstart a car up to seven liter petrol engine. Now. That's great for Americans, for sure. And we don't have these big engines in Europe, but I'm having three liter diesel and it can kickstart up to 3.5 liter diesel engine. And who is around diesel engines and who knows? You know that you need something like a nuclear power plant to, to start your diesel engine. So this is a very powerful thing. Now, uh, another thing that I kind of did, and you need to trust me on this one, I'm using a lot of drones and, and GoPros and stuff like that, and these things likes to discharge quite, quite heavily. Basically, you you let them sit and they discharge. And this thing, um, now it's fully charged. Uh, it's not not a big deal, and uh, or it will not tell you anything now. But I let it sit for like two weeks or something, and it went down to 96 percent. Uh, I think they're promoting it that every month it will lose one or two percent. I don't think it's really true. It will lose a little bit more, but it's not a heavy kind of a discharger. So it can really sit several months when you are not riding. And that's a great thing. Now you have a USB-C to charging it in. That's a great thing uh, or that's a thing. Uh, then you have several outputs and regular USB cables. Uh, and I think we can do a test. Uh, I think you can constantly or simultaneously charge several several items. Uh, you have USB-C output, and that's a great thing because I told you um, you can by power charging. I mean like the fast charging, so you can really use this as a fast fast charger. Uh, that's a great thing. So your phone is charging super fast. That's that's a thing. And you have the, the wireless charger. I don't think it's the, the fastest one, but it's a nice feature. And of course, you just put there your phone or whatever has this functionality. And it's 10 W, so 10 watts or whatever. Uh, as, as I said, it's not the fastest one, but it's still okay. What else it does have? Uh, it's this flashlight. And I found it very useful, actually. Um, when you turn it on, uh, come on, come on, come on, there you go. You have it, and it's very powerful. Uh, it just, it just, you know, that the kind of a laser, or whatever LED light that goes for, I don't want to say hundreds of meters, but it's very far. And what else it has, it has this emergency light, which is also good. So that's a nice thing as well. Uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Now before we will do really the test, and I cannot wait for that, and hopefully uh, you are looking for that as well. Uh, I will show you like because this is the thing that I'm will be really or well that I'm traveling with always. So even for a motorbike rider, it's quite okay, um, and especially definitely for the for the spider or bike rider, it's absolutely uh, no brainer. But I will show you where I have hidden these cables. But before that. Guys, uh, let's make this video worth. Let's make the discharging of my battery worth. In case you like my content, subscribe and have the notifications on. Hit the like, comment, whatever. And now, guys, you can become a Patreon. It will help me a lot. The link, I think, it's popping out here or here. I think here. Uh, long. It's not a long story short. Uh, the thing is that you can become a Patreon from Y99. You can support this channel, and I think from 5.99. Uh, you will receive also the lock content. So there are several bonuses that you will get. You are not only paying, but you are receiving something. So yeah, in case you like what I do, it would be awesome if you can support. And now, let me show you the trick and let's start this beast. I told you I'm only traveling with this, with this connector. I'm always traveling with this. And of course, some cables for charging. Uh, and what is basically the trick? Uh, I take the inner part of the front out, of course, where you have the battery, and 
there is actually on the spider there is enough space especially on F3 F3 models and uh, there is enough space to put one connector on this side other connector on this side and actually the 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 kind of the board or whatever it is the connector is hanging here on other cables which is absolutely all fine and doesn't cause us any trouble and always it is with me when I need it and this thing just goes either in the front or depends on my writing setup uh, to the extra bag or, or saddle bags whatever but it's not a problem at all honestly now I'm a little bit nervous if it will work uh, now, connecting these, it's quite easy because it has a different pattern on this side, so it cannot be wrong. So what you need to do is plug this in, and it starts flashing, obviously. We have it on, and actually I'm curious like, how much, if it starts, how much power it will take, because they said it should be good for up to 20 different uh, you know, kick starts. Now it's 97% because I have I was charging a little bit. Now the red one goes to the red part, obviously. So to the positive. There's so many things here. Now it's, it says it's now it says it's kind of connected. It's now a green light. Okay, there. <laughs> Money well spent. Love it. So, uh, I love this test because for Two months I was riding with this just like that without knowing if it will really help me if the trouble comes and now I can now I have peace on my mind you know uh, in terms of the in terms of the battery uh, we have started at 97% now we have 86 uh, they are promoting it like it can kickstart your bike or whatever vehicle for 20 times I mean definitely depends like how much power your vehicle needs in these terms i think you can do up to like what like nine times but you should have at least 90 percent of the uh, 70 percent i'm sorry you should have at least 70 percent of the uh, of the capacity or like charge it to over 70 percent in order to give you the maximum boost um, and uh, but it's all fine for me. I mean, once or twice to to kickstart it, uh, you know, it's it, it should be all fine. Um, and I owe you one more thing, like how I'm really, really using it, and I'm using and abusing that thing. Uh, I using it as a as a power bank. Um, of course, I'm aware that if I will use it constantly, uh, you are basically using your battery and you are, you know, reducing the cycles, blah, blah, blah. Um, at the end, after maybe four years or five years of, of using during the summertime, uh, I will notice definitely some reuse of the complete or total capacity, but I simply don't care. Uh, I'm a vlogger, I need a lot of power, especially after a long day, I would like to post some pictures and usually I'm out of the battery at the dinner. So I'm, I'm using this. And why not to use it like that, right? Uh, so during the day, 100% uh, powered. So I have peace on my mind if something happens or in, in the morning, if something happens with my bike, I can kickstart it. And then at the night or after the whole day, I'm using it as a, as a power supply. It can also charge your laptops. So not all of them, uh, but I think it, the output is, output is 12, 16 and something else uh, watts. So that's a great thing. Uh, yeah, actually, I think this was really a smart buy. So guys, in case you are interested in, in the US, it is La Monster who sells them in case you would like to support them. Uh, in Europe, it's definitely me, martindevlogger.com slash shop. Buy it or not, have more, you know, safety and secure journeys or not, it's up to you. Now guys, now guys remember, always have fun.